Welcome back to Community Battlecast Primetime. I'm your host, Doom Tanker, and in this episode we've got all your news, mods, and fan art. So let's get to it. Well, sadly, we got nothing from E3 about Generals 2. EA showed off a lot of their other big name titles, but they're still keeping Generals 2 under heavy cloak and dagger. I hope we get some info about this title soon, otherwise I'm going to start getting worried. But we do have some other news for you guys out there. In a post that Scene Sea Saga found on Sam Bass's Facebook, he notes, You know that moment when you've been working on a game forever and then you play it and then BAM! You realize, hey, I'm having fun. Just got that awesome. There was also a reply back to a friend's comment about the decline in the community's activity, to which he replied, Been too busy to working on... Been too busy working on the game to notice. Well, we hope you do notice, and you hear the sounds of our foots tapping. And hopefully your words hold true. Because remember Duke Nukem forever? Yeesh, enough said there. Found a map you thought looked cool and wanted to try out, or just can't get that map manager to cooperate with you? Well, cncmaps.com has a tool for you guys to add in your custom maps to the game. The map folder opener does exactly what his name sounds. This program is a self-contained dot exec file and doesn't require installation. It's easy to use and makes adding maps very easy. Just head on over to the link below and give it a like and give it a like and download it for yourself. Only English versions of the titles are supported, but they hope to do an update soon for those international fans. SWR Productions has shared some new information on what's coming for Rise of the Reds version 2.0. There's a full list of changes, new and improved stuff, and a little lore on one of the new GLA generals. You can check out the full post and grab this mod for yourself now. And another interesting item the guys at CNC Saga discovered, there's a CNC for your mobile phone. Well, in Asia. Command and Conquer Domination is, is developed by Kota Games and published by EA for the Asian mobile social network MIG33. You can check out the post on their site now for yourself over a Mental Mega Almost Perfect Yuri Revenge mod released a new massive media update including new pics, new units, new music, and new videos. Head on over to the website now and check it out for yourself. And now it's time for the mod spotlight. Once again we got another plentiful batch of mods for you guys so let's go. RA3 Revolution version 1.0 has been released bringing more insane and off-the-wall weapons to the war as well as some graphical improvements. This one's definitely worth a download now. The Halo RTS is an in-development mod for CNC3, selling off some impressive work so far. There is an alpha demo release, so definitely give this one a download and try. Version 1.01 of the Kane's Wrath SDK has been released for all you modders out there, so give this one a download now. This one is one of my favorites for generals, and with MechWare Online coming out soon, I'd figure I'd give this one a little light. Finally deserves. It's actually one of the earliest mods I ever tried for generals. Battletech. The Capellan solution is a total conversion giving you access to three new armies. House Lyo Conquerors, the St. Ives Compact, Defenders, or the Noble Peacekeepers of the Star League. With all the mech stomping action in RTS form, this is an awesome mod to check out. Jeff Wayne's World War is another in-development mod, for, this one's for Generals. Based on the musical version of War of the Worlds, this one looks pretty interesting. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Tiberium Dawn, The First Strike, is another FPS being developed by Firestorm Productions using the Unreal UDK kit. It's still in the works, but it looks like they're making some good progress with this one so far. They're looking for a few good people, so if you wanted to work on Renegade X, but missed out, well here's your chance to get on another Command & Conquer FPS. And unfortunately, Cyber didn't do any battle casts before he went on his business trip. So unfortunately, we don't have a battle cast for you guys this time. Yeah, you can yell at him when he gets back. And now it's time for community fan art. Not Soldier Girl and I've been searching through DA and all all over the web for another heap of fan art for you guys. First one comes from T2100 EX9 of a Venom on Recon in a red zone. Next are Three more logos from Diamond 00744 of the Tiberium Wars emblems. Next is some overlords unloading on this in this picture from Yao01. Next is an awesome allied robot tank render by Bob Joe 275 If Westwood's two greatest titles ever clashed, here's what it might look like, thanks to Zerg Rex. And this last epic picture comes from Spitfire Mark Alpha 1 of the Soviets invading. And unfortunately that ends another episode of Community Battlecast Primetime. As per usual, leave your feedback below in the f or in the forums. And if you have any fan art, news, or anything Command & Conquer you want to share with the community, feel free to reach Nod Soldier Girl at her email, nodsoldiergirl at hotmail.com. And we'll see you on the battlefield.